I'm looking a little rough and a little wind blown because I have been out here all day. Um, and I'm just going to take y'all around and show y'all what I've got accomplished. It was super windy all day so I didn't really get to film because I have to hold the phone or set it up against something because I don't have a tripod yet. So um, anyways, I just want to show y'all what I've done and take y'all around and see what I've planted and, and how things are doing. So I've got a little strawberry here and these onions I've had forever so they don't really count. <laughs> um, I did go buy some plants. I'll show y'all what seedlings and what I have bought but this is lemon balm that I bought and over here we have some sweet mint that I bought um, this weekend and have some little flowers from seedlings and I've already forgotten what they are I think zinnia and uh, marigold maybe um, my onions right here they're countrywide hybrid I think um, and then over here in this bed we have bell peppers and habaneros and others that are in the jalapeno family at least or like a jalapeno these are jalapenos and then we have the i these are from seedling as are all of the ones you just saw the bell peppers and the um, habaneros but this is a it it's a jalapeno but it's called a jalafuego and I purchased that one, that seedling. That's why it's so big. And then this is a poblano. Um, we like to stuff those. They're really good stuffed. And then this one is a big gem hot pepper, which my dad's name is Jim, so I had to have that one. <laughs> Um, I do have some lavender in this bed in both of the big beds and because I'm hoping that it will help with cats we have uh, lots of cats in the neighborhood that have until I got this planted used it as a bathroom so that's been an issue um, and we're hoping to get some things that they don't like I'm just reading up and once I mulch it I hope I don't know. I hope that helps. This composty mulch didn't help though, so I don't know if that will. But we read they didn't like lavender, so planted lavender in both beds. And they don't like citrus smells and citrusy stuff, so that's why lemon. I got the lemon balm. That and I wanted it. <laughs> and then I have tomatoes. Super Sweet Hybrid 100. It's a cherry tomato. And there's five of them. And then on the very end is my Israel Melon that uh, Robert got from a lady he did some work, some work for. So those are really cool seeds. I'm glad we got. And then over here I have cabbage. It doesn't look too hot, but. And then there's my little romaine that really never looked good that I is in previous videos. And then we have these really desperately needed to be transplanted. So I'm glad I got them in the ground. They were suffering being in the, sorry about the neighbors, Harley. <laughs> they were suffering being in the, um, in the house and in, in the cup still. But these are National Pickling Cucumbers. That one and that one. And then this is Market More 77 Cucumbers and there's, there's three of those. And another lavender plant, which I'm hoping doesn't interfere with anything else too. And then these are um, sweet banana peppers. 
so that is what I have this year. Uh, well, for this season, I guess. Um, you will also see about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Probably about a dozen extra plants. They're mainly peppers because if you watched my first video ever, I sowed a lot of seeds not realizing they would all germinate and come up. So, so there's that. That's why I got a ton of them. But those are my beds and I'm pretty happy with them. We'll go get uh, cattle panels and a couple more T-posts to make the archway between this bed and go up and over into that bed. And I'll train my cucumbers up this side and then train or use this side for the tomatoes as big as they get. So hopefully, hopefully that'll work out. The wild plums. We never paid attention to these until last year. And there is a huge grove of them in our backyard. When we bought it, this big grove was in the middle of the backyard. And um, it's all plum trees, like everywhere. So they are producing their fruit. And last year, we, we picked a lot of them and gave them to Robert's boss's wife and she made some jellies. So I'm hoping to do that myself this year, but I didn't pay attention to them last year, like when they ripen and when they um, get bigger because they are kind of small and then already starting, starting to ripen. And I don't remember if this happened this way last year or not. We were trying to think about it, but neither one of us really remember. They just look like they're getting ripe too quickly. But there's lots of areas around here that have this um, wild plum. And some people's plums didn't even produce. So it might be something about this year's weather or something. See like this? That's what I'm talking about there. They're very ripe looking, but they are not big. Like they should be probably about that big. So they're pretty tiny. I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. One cattle panel up. These are four foot by 16 foot cattle panels. We just have one T-post centered. And we're going to have another one right here. But that's a lot of fun to get up.
Ginger. What did you just say? Do you want to learn how to tie wire? You're doing a real good job. And you're almost done. <laughs>